The market manager gives an easy overview of the market symbols and related open and pending orders. It also enables you to quickly take trading actions and get further information about individual markets. Setting it up. To get started, simply drag and drop the market manager from the expert advisors list in MetaTrader Ford Navigator onto a chart. Make sure the Allow Live Trading and Allow DLL Imports boxes are checked and that Auto Trading is turned on. You are now ready to trade using the market manager. Multi-screen trading. You can position the market manager anywhere on your desktop or on the chart. If you want to pin it to the chart, simply click on the top left icon and select Pin Unpin. If you want to make the market manager bigger or smaller, you can do this by putting your mouse on a corner or on a side and dragging the borders of the app. Multiple languages. The market manager operates in 14 international languages as standard and will automatically display in the language used for your MT4 if that is one of the supported languages. To change the market manager language once the MT4 is open, simply select the language you want from the main MT4 View Languages menu and either restart the MT4 or remove and add back the market manager. Market Manager currently supports these languages. If you would like a new language to be added, please ask. The Home Screen There is a lot of functionality in the Market Manager and full details can be found in the User Guide provided with the app. Looking at the Home Screen, we can see a list of markets or symbols, the current bid and ask and details of open positions in lots of profit or loss. The list of markets will reflect the markets listed in your trading platform, synchronizing with the contents of MT4 Market Watch. Looking at the market manager, the first market symbol on the list is Dollar Swiss. If we click on this display, we see a pop up which shows the low and high price movements over the last 60 minutes, 24 hours, and 5 days. It also shows bid and ask prices and lot size and profit and loss. The symbol window can be switched to show recent price activity instead of the candles by clicking on the tick lines icon. This is not a tick chart, it is a 500 millisecond chart which continues updating even if there is no market activity. The buy and sell buttons at the top click through to a screen that enables us to set a number of different market and pending orders and to set order templates. This is the same dealing form used in the trade terminal and mini-terminal apps and can be used to load trading templates created in other modules of the software or to create new templates. We will set a buy order and stop loss and take profit and save it as a template called buy2. We can also get to the order screen by clicking on the bid or ask boxes. To get the template for quick order execution, we simply hold down Control and click again on the Bid or Ask boxes and then select Buy 2. The order is now live in the market. The Template function displays templates created in other modules of the software, as seen here, listed alongside the Buy 2 template we created. Clicking on the Lots box gives us the choice of closing all the orders for that particular market, in this case, Dollar Yen. Finally, holding down Control and clicking on the Market Symbols box will pop up a screen that enables you to open a new chart in the Market Symbol very quickly. Here we have opened a one-hour chart in Eurodollar. Other functions If we click on the main Market Watch box at the top, we get a number of options. Open Positions enables us to see markets that we have an open position in. The box also displays a list of currencies. If we click on US Dollar, we get a list of all the US Dollar related markets in the trading platform. 
The Open and Pending Orders option lists all of the open and pending orders. If we click on the Buy or Sell action in this order list window, a pop-up window opens for that order. You can have any number of these pop-up windows visible at once. The information shown about the stop loss and take profit includes not only the price, but also the distance in pips from the current ask bid price, and the cash effect on the balance if the stop loss and take profit is hit. Finally, the account info option clicks through to a display of key account information. There are no click through options, but at the bottom we can choose to display a margin in use, floating profit and loss, and pips profit like this. As you will have seen, the market manager is great for keeping an overview on markets and on your open and pending orders. It is designed to help you trade more efficiently with better tools and better information. For further information, please contact us or check the website for the software's detailed user guide.